All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yes, and we are back uh, doing the farm renovations. Uh, not sure if I showed that, but yeah. I put a lip around the fireplace. Really sets it off. Cool. And I extended the deck and put a beam in. So the lower deck matches the, the upper deck. Nice. Okay, so um, we had a comment from George uh, about the time of day. And I used to use this, but uh, when I changed, something happened to the time. You can set the interval of how the daytime goes by... Uh, first let's go to daytime and I will put this in, in the show. There's a link to a great article or forum post. Let's see. It's uh, forward slash set time underscore speed and the speed that you want. I want 64. So according to uh, a couple of the commenters in the, in the forum post, the default is 72, which equals around 20 minutes. So I figure 64 and uh, uh, one equals 24 hours. Zero would turn off, meaning that it is always going to be daytime. Anything, the higher the number, the faster the day night cycles. So I have it says for 30 minutes. And uh, so hopefully I won't go over 30 minutes. <laughs> Fat chance on that one. We're going to, oh, I wanted to go this way. Because I'll show you what I've done so far. If I can get up this hill. And we are going to go to the path. So right behind the fountain is the path. Nice. And I kind of like, uh, 10 minutes is a, is a little bit too quick. But I kind of like the day-night cycles because a lot of my builds look really, really good at night. And I, I like seeing them that way. So, oh, look at that. There's a house missing. I moved it. Hi, Mr. Bunny. So I, I gotta put a step there. Might as well real quickly. Uh, what is that? That is compressed cobblestone. So, I, ugh. I moved that house. I don't know why I couldn't speak for a second there. There we go. Now we have some stairs. They go up. Brilliant. We can do the same thing here. However, okay, that'll work. Oh, that's where the path goes. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I moved that house. There we go. Now the path actually goes up to this little parking area, which I made. Wow, I'm artsy. Cool. So I extended the road all the way up here, and I moved the house and rotated it. The rotate command does not work <laughs> very well, and I had to re-rotate all the roof blocks. I fixed that roof block. But yeah, it did not go really smooth. This house is going to be redone and it almost to the point where I might just entirely build a mansion up here because I filled in this area here. There was this big, huge drop off and kind of wasn't needed. So I like how that, that feathers down. I'm going to continue the cliff or continue that over. Put some oak trees in, made this all, this was all sand. Use the replace node to replace desert sand with dirt with grass. And it turned out really cool looking. So one of the ideas is back here, I planted some more trees. This has all been uh, leveled out because the driveway is going to go through here for the uh, waterfall house. And the workshop we have, we have a little workshop here. 
because all this area in here is going to be owned by the farm. Yeah, that's the idea. And right now they're working on the, where is it? Where are you, tractor? There you are. I need a tractor. Okay, well, that didn't, um, that did not. I love those wheels. <laughs> That's just wrong. So we're gonna we're gonna go right there, and we're gonna put out. We're gonna put the tractor there. It's work. They're working on the tractor, and so we come up here. What I'm gonna try to do. I'm still determining whether or not I'm gonna take the garage doors off here. I'm gonna lower the house by three, and then put the garage doors off the side, and have a. Um, driveway go up here so all the roads are done i still have to put in the half blocks and you come around here you got all this this inner stuff which has to get has to get finished with the um with filling it in and making it you know feathered in to look normal like a hit like an actual hill but that's all to taste that yeah, looks much better much better okay so over here I still haven't fixed this yet I want to I want to have that gradually go down and level off to the beach area because I want to use that beach area for something and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that we got the parking lot in where's my cars there they are we have the parking lot in. I changed this to an observation deck. So now it looks more realistic. And got rid of this house that was here, the tree. Over there, yeah. And all the houses in the middle. They're gone. They just, they went bye-bye. This is going to stay with the little marina. The, the greenhouse is going to get redone. And there's going to be a driveway going down to that. It's a boat mechanic shop and then over here I changed all this to grass and this is real quickly so on here if we 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 go inside here we go to the bread machine which is right here and we already have we already have a hundred bread in there but yeah so how this works which is really cool, but I need a blinky plant. So we are going to real quickly before I get to what the real episode is today. We have a blinky plant and let's see, B O B zero are those plates. I need one of those. And Hmm, I wonder if you can wildcard this stuff. Nope, you can't. Figures. I need... Come on. There we go. What I need is... I need the trapdoor. I know I have one. But the person that made that mod... There it is. Made that mod didn't label them really um, effectively. So we are going to take this. We are going to make a small trap door. Not where I want it, I want it there. Oh, you're gonna give me that. You're gonna do that to me? Fine. You can do that. And it's, uh, I've, I've done this before over in the mines. So that creates like a box, and then we're going to put the trap door on top of it. Get rid of the inside, put our blinky plant in there, and it should be blinking. Yes, close the door. And I don't like to keep that on. 
because it uh, it runs an active block. So we have three wheat seeds. We take said wheat seeds and we put them in. And that's going to start the process. And just to show the process, it comes in, it goes into the furnace, or the, I'm sorry, the grind. Oh, come on. Into the grinder, it comes out of the grinder as wheat. It comes out of there and it turns into bread. There's the bread. You can see the wheat going in. And then it comes up to the upstairs. I'm not going to fly because it just takes forever to fly. Because it's uncontrollable. And it's going to come up here into there, into the dispenser. And you can see that we have 98. Come on. You can do it. I think that's all of it. Yep, that's all of it. Then you click the button. It throws out a piece of meat. A uh, piece of meat. It throws out some bread. And you can make your sandwiches and go on your merry way. And I just ate the bread. So, that's what that is. And then you can turn the flower off. It will not blink. By clicking on it, close that, we're done. Over here is where the barn's going to go. I filled in this area because I do not want, I, I, bah. This over here is going to be the flower shop and processing center. So you come in here and it's all been decked out. I'm going to leave that door in. Unfortunately, I'm going to cover that up, but that's the emergency vent or emergency escape for the train tunnel. And I just replaced all the, why does it seem like it's getting nighttime again already? Huh. I replaced all the, uh, <laughs> the roof with glass. This is now going to be a greenhouse slash, um, processing center. So there's going to be, there's going to be an actual counter in here, another, and then a little workstation area. There's going to be plants all along here. And plants over here, where you can buy flowers and plants. Out back here, this is all going to be farmed for plants. So that it will, this is going to be the, the flowers that are um, grown for the floral shop. And I cannot, these sunflowers just will not... Will not grow. Now I set that to 64. That should be 30 minutes. I don't know. Why is that not 64? Let's change that to 32 and see if that makes a difference. Time speed 32. It should be more minutes. So let's get on with the barn. Because we need a place for the petting zoo and for the animals. So we are going to go... Um, I pre-measured this out. It's going to be 15 by 25 by 6. I guess. And what we are going to be using is... We are going to be using... Um, did I spell? I can't spell. I can't spell acacia. We want acacia... We want Aspen, and, hmm, what do I want, what do I want, what do I want? Acacia, Aspen, the roof. I always have a problem with my roofs. I want the roof to have short and long. That should be enough for now. And, uh... The door, the gate would, okay, those will, those will, because the gate door edge, the gate door with handle, and the gate door. 
that should work. All right, so do I want to put a border? No, no, I do not. No, I do not. So we're going to, this is going to be our two, what did I say? 15, three, four, five, six, eight. Where'd the cat go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What is that? Nothing. And how much? It's going to cut into my little hill here. Hmm. But it's got to be got to be 15 it's got to be an uneven number so we are going to go let me through this is going to go out when I say 25 sure why not 30 might be cool too wow that's that's an awful big, that's an awful big barn. That might be too big. That's too big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty. I guess it's not. It's it, it's not really that big. So we will across here and do some math so one two three four five six seven eight seven is eight is the center and the door is going to be five However, it's only four. Okay, then. So, how we will do this to move everything along. There's one. And then... This is going to be two. We are going to stack this by five. And that gives us our... That gives us our, yeah, that's fine. That is just, just dandy. So the base is going to be, we are going to put in some acacia, or not acacia, uh, aspen wood. I love these colors. And it took every ounce of energy not to do like over in the villa with the bricks. I really wanted, I really wanted to do that. So what we are going to do is two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 17. What we're going to do is... We're going to stack this 17. I hope that was right. And there's our floor. Cool. I don't know why it does that. So let's get rid of our little our poles here. I'm going to worry about the windows right now, I guess. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. So the whole purpose of this is... Uh, well, I know it's 17. I have to remember that. So we have the doors here. The doors are going to be inside here. And we are going to come up. And the doors are not going to be. There we go. We have that. I don't know if I want. I'm going for a specific look. So let's see what we got here. I know there there's a way of we're gonna see how well how well this looks before I commit to because we need that was very dumb. We need to get roofs have the roofs of a barn have this kind of There we go. That's what I want. And that's not to say that it, it might be changed. Plus this upper. Now there's going to be an upper floor. And which is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We need that there. And that's going to be. And one of, the, one of the things that will set this apart, build-wise, is that... I might want to go one more because of the mechanism. Yeah. the What's going to set it apart is all the, the details. And what, what, what do you mean? Uh, like the door sliding system, like I did up at the... Up at the villa. That's going to be in there. The access way to get up to the top here. So now this should only go, this should only go 16. Maybe 15 to be on the safe side. Okay. Oh no, it was 17. Because I'm not sure where I'm going to put. There we go. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the... Oh, uh, stairway to get up to the top. And there's going to be, since this is the floor, there's going to be a, an access way up here for the door. And that is going to replicate. Now, that was just awful. One, two, and then two. So what I'm going to do is this the easy way. As I as I sit there and thumb wheel through um, my blocks. Very nice. And then we come up here. We do this. And then... <laughs> what did I do? Do I need to make this wider? It's got the barn shape that I want. But I can't use the two. I need I need actual two more blocks. Because in the middle, one, one, and then that. This all has to be. Moved out one. One, two, three, four, five. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do I need to do two? All right, well, let's do two. You know what would make it easier on me is if I did two and then one. Come on, one. So we are going to move this region by two in the look direction. <laughs> now look at how good that, yes. Let's see what damage I did real quickly. No problem. But that door, so I have to add two more I don't know why I keep, I, I continuously do that. I added two blocks. That will give me, that will give me what I want. Oh, the life of a builder. You know, just be thankful that I'm not, See, I don't know how two, four, six, seven, eight, sixteen, seventeen. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. So I need one more block, one more block, and then we can really get going on this. Let's go back to the roof. Because I want to get the shell done. Aspen tree. I like that tree. I have my favorite go-to trees. There we go. So now, bam, because I'm going, we're going to get kind of interesting with this. And let me, let me real quickly get this filled in. So what I want to do also is I want to put uh, like lumber bracing, stuff that you're going to see in, in, a, in a barn. Um, one of the neat things is, I can achieve some of the detail that I want by using my deck because of the beams and stuff in, in my deck. That will be cool. I'm also going to possibly put a door back here because who knows what I'm, what I'm going to do. So we have that. That's a good looking barn. I like that. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The door will fit all the way in there. Now, this top door is not going to be the same size. And that will also be an automatic door because of... That's where... I'll show you that in a second before we... end the video here. So I want to get over and come up and we're going to position ourselves. I know this is the cheating way, but you know what? The reason why I build in creative mode is mm. y'all see what I did there, right? That would have been very, very messy. So what we are going to do is we are going to reset the region and I just need the roof. I need this. We are going to go here. It's going to add a few minutes into the build time, but that's okay. Ooh, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? No problem. I almost, that would have been messy. That would have been, that would have really 
really made my day. I'm just because I want a, spe a specific. Well, I could almost not have said that word. So that's one. We are going to come down. It doesn't matter if, if you're hanging over on this because there's nothing going to be in the way there. And we come up here. I position two. We got it in. And now we have to subtract one from our stack command. I like building like this. <laughs> am I, am I missing something here? And I did it again, didn't I? Didn't I? Because we have to go 18 and that's going to bring it all the way to the lip. Very nice. I like instant gratification. Uh, the only thing I will let, the only thing I will let go is in terms of wait around for is the crops. The trees, stuff like that, when I'm planting trees, I, I like to have it to the where one, two, three. I like to have it where they instantly grow because then I can get an idea of where they are going. What? One, two, three. One, two, three. What? One, two, three. I, I thought something looked off. So we are mimicking the top as in on the other side. Because we'll put some windows in there. Okay, so there you have it. Ow! There you have it. We have a barn. And I am going to real quickly get this straightened out. Because now everything else is going to take is going to take a lot of time. And we're gonna stack that. 17 because I really don't know where that's going to end up. Now that, you see, that's weird. Did I come to the other side? No. I need some lights. Just to, oh, you see? Just to, just to spot the way here. Why are you there? Okay, so the idea here is that this is going to house all the animals. That's a big... It looks big, but it's not. And let's see if we can figure these doors out. That's the door gate edge, but that's not where we want it. We want it there. And that's the gate door. Gate door. Oh, come on. Oh, you you gonna do you gonna do that? <laughs> I forgot you have to put a block behind them. See now it'll just keep going. Oh But that's good. That's good. So now that's going to end there. Need that's not gonna let me do oh I know what I wanted to do here. I think what I had I if I remember correctly Yep. I I did remember correctly. This is how you do this gate. I still cannot figure out how to get the gates to split, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to put the handle over here. And this is the gate door. 
where, where the, I, how I look at this is that might be that's a big door that's a good that's a good color so now how to stop the door we can't do that However, we can do this. And this is what I did over in the, we could put a light there so we can get rid of this block because it, it looks kind of, kind of weird. And now when the door closes, it's going to stop right there. And what you can also do, let's say, let's say you want to give the impression that the door is it only opens part way. Well, we can we can do something like that. Also, we can put a light here or here. And now the door will only open and it'll leave one space indicating that there's a door there. And that that looks cool. So, let's go do the um the doors up here real quickly because that's going to be a glass door. And over here, it's getting dark out again. This one will not need a handle. This opens now one, two, three. I won't have to do anything on this one because this one will open fully. However, we don't want it going back. You know what? We want, we want these doors to open the exact same way. Now, usually there'll be a, like a split door up here. So that, that works. We're going to close that up. And that works. All right. So let's just let's just do something real quickly here to add this. You see, I don't know it I know this is going to be a long video, but there should be no reason why the sun went down that quick. So now everything is going to be accents. Now you could you could put different stuff in there. Um, however, whoop. <laughs> that was interesting. It's an awful big building, but I'm gonna there's gonna be windows in there and stuff. That is big. But it's a barn. What are you going to do? What happened here? Oh. One thing that I could do is we can take. Do we have any stone? We don't need this anymore. And usually it'll be cobblestone. Oh, don't want to use mossy. Yeah, let's use this. Let us see what this will look like. To break up is an awful lot of... That's an awful lot of... Um, red. And usually barns are built on... Well, you're going to see barns in many different things. You're going to see modern barns. You're going to see barns that are built on different found, uh, different foundations, concrete. You're going to have old cobblestone sometimes. That kind of looks a little goofy, but I want to see what 
this will look like here. But basically the barn is, I know what the problem is. The barn is too wide to its height, if that makes any sense. So, this is a big barn, though. All right, so in the center here, because the video is going to end shortly, in, in the center here, there's going to be stalls, and there's going to be lumber or wood that is going to connect that up. One of the other things I want to do real quick is right here, I wonder what I have in terms of a post. But I need that post to sit in the center. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh! Let's try it. Let's see if I can, I can turn that. Nope. Of course not. But I can turn that. Cool. I wanted it actually to be wood and I wanted it to be wider. But if this is what I have to do, we want to bring it out two or three. We're going to bring it out two. Oh, no, this ain't going to work. You know what? It, 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 it maybe. Maybe. Because on barns, you're going to see. 100 meter, I got a 50 meter, I have 50, 100, <laughs> I have propeller. Oh, this might not work. I just want to, I just want to see how this would look if it works, if I could pull it off. You, you usually see a, like a block and tackle system. If I could make that stop partway down. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Oh. Oh, how very cool. And look, there's already a horsey in the barn. How very. Oh, I rock. <laughs> We're going to put some windows in. I don't think they should be there, though. No, because they need to be... They need... That's fine. Actually, two or even going up will be fine. All right, so we have that. We have our door system. We have our barn. You see, now it, it's not that it's not that um, you know it's the cheating way of doing that of putting this building up with with World Edit. The fun is now going to come in in terms of detailing this building to make it look like a barn. So we have our we have our little system. That's usually what they'll do to take uh, hay bales. Now I wonder. No, I'm not going to have a hay bale hanging there. But that is so cool. I surprise myself sometimes. We'll let the horse out. And what I'm going so what I'm going to do. I like that. I'm happy with this. I can I can also maybe use dark gray. I might change that. I don't know, I'm going to have to see. And I what I also might do is I might overhang Yeah, it needs that. It it needs it. I will show you real quickly before I end this long video 
hand it needs to go. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Come on. You can do it. That, that makes my day. I know it's a game. I, I really don't care. This is, I spent, just to give you an idea, and this is by no means a complaint, because I, I am a night person, and, oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. I am a night person. So I have a tendency, oh, is that going to throw it off? No. That's fine. That is fine. I have a tendency to stay up real late. And because I, I do my best work. Some people, some people do their best work in the morning. I do my best work um, over, you know, overnight. And most of the times when I worked IT, I would always opt for the midnight shift. I really do like it. And the position that I'm currently going for does look like they have a midnight shift available. So here is hoping because my YouTube career is not panning out. <laughs> like, you know, like I, uh, <laughs> like I actually, well, you know what? If you don't, I heard for, I was listening to a race car driver once and it was one of those teams where the, uh, the team was always like in last place or near last place. And, you know, they said somebody was giving them crap about it and they were like, you know, why do you even bother? You have a, your team is underfunded and, you know, do you, do you really want to win? And he goes, he, do you, or he said, do you actually think you have a shot at winning? And he said, every time I go out there, I, I, I have the belief that I'm going, I have the capability of winning because if you're not, if you don't, then why are you even going out there? So, yeah. So I did try YouTube to try to, I wanted to make some money <laughs> and, uh, while doing something that I, I enjoy. So yes, I did have aspirations of being, I'm going to have to get rid of that hill, aren't I? Of being a huge YouTuber driving a Lamborghini. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to cut down that hill a little bit because now in hindsight, it looks kind of goofy. And if we come over here, you're going to see that I, I use these doors as windows. And I did that on purpose because of this being a flower shop and, you know, heat and everything else. If you've ever been in a real greenhouse, you know, they have usually on the ends, they'll have huge glass paint, glass windows, and, and they can open the roof up and vent it. Um, this windmill is going to be moved over there to generate power. Look at that. I like it just as is. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit tinkering with it. And now just the outside is done. I'm going to detail the living daylights out of it. I might inlay, you know, maybe inlay, inlay a design here. But for the most part, that looks awesome. I am really happy with that. And I will be the first to tell you if I'm not. So there we have it. We have, we have our floors and then I'm going to get creative with some half, with some half locks, some slabs of uh, different wood material. And in the center here are going to be the columns that go up and su support columns. And then we will have like horse stables on one side, an area for cows and sheep and other barnyard animals that we will have. There's going to be a fence that is going to run around this complete area here because this, the idea of this is to be a petting zoo. So we have the petting zoo area. We're going to have 
back here and on the side is going to be for flower growing. Uh, over here, I might put something down in here. I don't know yet. This is the wildlife sanctuary. We have some crops here. I'm thinking about extending the crops all the way over here and redoing some of these trees. And that'll take care of that. Detailing the inside of the flowers and the barn, the new barn. Oh, I know what it's, you know what it's missing? Do you know what it's missing? It is missing the, it is, it is, I, it, that bothers me if they're not facing all the same direction. It is missing lightning rods and a weather vane. So every barn needs lightning rods. There we go. And there you have it. So real quickly, we have the barn. Now I just have to detail it and do, do the update video on that. We have the parking blocks put in. The street is uh, coming along nicely. It comes over here. That house is going to get lowered by three, possibly. We have this house up here. We have the extended gravel way to get to the park. We have all that redone. And then the driveway for that house will come over here and the garage will be in here, which means this little hill is going to get flattened out. And that will, that will do it. Then this whole area here, whatever's left over, like this area here is the machine shop for the farm. Yeah. So it's coming along nicely. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave questions, comments, criticisms below. And we will go from there. So thank you again. Um, and happy building. And everybody have a warm, safe, dry week. And goodbye.